it's me, Jacob, with my brother Caleb. Um, we're um today. My mom, my mom's filming, and she um this morning we went with her by our generator. We usually we went to get some worms, but we we found some um salamanders and a koi fish with eggs. So here's our crayfish. We'll just take a look at what he looks like. I'll put him by the white. And the coolest thing about this crayfish it has is eggs. it has eggs. Is it a male? I, well, no, it's going to be a female because the females store their eggs here. So you can see there's thousands of them. Thousands of little eggs. And even when they hatch, the little babies stay under her tail to be protected. So we've actually had pet crayfish in the past. They so, ate each other. <laughs> we're going to keep this guy this little lady until she has her eggs and we're going to be updating on our channel here how she's doing so the other thing we caught today is some salamanders and, worms. and some worms well, so the first type of salamander we caught are these blue ones and the second one is like and he's still kind of cold yeah. and uh sleepy but well, he is the orange one's hanging on these little um, red salamanders, I'll get the names for them and I'll put it in, in the comments. Um, we caught a bunch of those guys Can too. I more? So, um, it's way more. just very interesting. Um, if you want to get salamanders by your, or look for salamanders, you need to look in areas that are wet and moisture. Wet and, and dark. they like uh, leaf litter. And but if you use chemicals on Caleb? your yard, oh, he's Look, him. that's Caleb on this. Caleb on this huge one. That's a giant worm. worm. Look at that thing. It can get long and chubby. Uh huh. Um, if you use chemicals, what we were saying is, if you use chemicals on your yard, um, yeah, you won't. They won't. They'll all die. So, it's a good, good sign that you have a, a health, oh, healthy oh, yard. Be. Oh yeah. So now something else we found today is a. Lovely. Willy I bear. found that. Willy bear. bear. And um, can you find the rest of our salamanders and put them in this bin? Because we gotta, we're gonna uh, log them into the herpetological Ooh. thing for Michigan and um, let them know. They're what, uh, in danger in Michigan. Yeah, because they're an endangered species. So, because everyone uses chemicals on their yards, so we are going to uh, log them. Yeah. And let the state of Michigan know where we found them and where they're growing really well and the size and the kind where's our other big blue I don't know big blue blue what's funny I found a there was a one of them one a of the missing them um, mm -hmm. One of the salamanders missing. It was in the house. It was yeah. by our computer, and I found it. We went to show uh, Jacob's class all the things that we found today, and uh, we were showing him the big salamander, and then the little guy ran away. Yeah. And then we couldn't find him. And Good then night. later in Jacob's class, he came. Oh, yeah, I see. You found so him. I can't find the other blue one. You guys see them anywhere? No, I don't. But look at the size of this worm. It's huge. Yeah. Okay, so we'll update later. I think we got about 10 salamanders. We mm. got some little bitty baby ones and stuff. So we'll update later when we get them all um, found in here and measured out and let you guys know um, mm. what we registered um, and kind of what everything's doing. Say bye. Bye. Is this Sam?